Hey there. So today we're going to be creating a simple connect project in Unity. And it's this bubble popper where your hands are the white spheres and when you touch each of the bubbles, they just pop. In this particular video, we're going to be going over the SDK as well as getting the starter project up and running. What you're going to need though also is two pieces of software. We're going to need the SDK as well as that starter pack I talked about, which is going to be the Unity Pro packages. And that'll be on the page here and it'll also be a link in the description. So assuming you already have your Connect installed, we're going to need to install the Connect SDK version 2.0. And once it's installed, you can open up the Microsoft Connect Studio and stand in front of your Connect and you should see something like this. Well, hopefully not exactly like this. I'm a bald bearded man and hopefully you're not a bald bearded man. Unless you want to be, that's completely fine. So with that done, let's actually set up the Unity project. You're going to have this zipped folder of the Unity Pro package. Upon unzipping the file, we're going to need two things from this. We're going to need this Unity package file for Connect 2.0, as well as the file named Connect View. And you'll just need to drag both of these files into a brand new Unity project. The package contains a lot of these actual Connect source files that we're going to need, while the Connect View will be the backbone of our initial project. And once everything has been imported, you just need to open up the main scene, called main scene. And then what I'm doing here is that I'm selecting a few of the objects in the scene that we're not going to be needing for our final project. Now you don't have to do this right away. If you want to, you can go ahead and play it and just see all of the different video feeds that the Connect can give you. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off and we're gonna run the scene. And then you'll see a dangly digital skeleton of yourself. And if you want to, you can do a little dance, you can do jumping jacks, just make sure you're not recording yourself like I am. But what we're seeing here is the body source view at work. Now this is the script that we are going to be sort of deconstructing in the next video and making it a little bit more manageable. And believe me, it's not as intimidating as it looks. So if you like this video, like the video, and if you would like to follow along, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.